Hello, everybody. Spawner Rich here. Hippie DJ Kit just did a video on uh, the VC obsession. And uh, he made some really good points. Soul. And uh, it got me thinking. And I've kind of decided that I'm going to stop making videos in the VC because. What he was saying about, you know, being obsessed with the VC and how it affects on what you're listening to at home and what you're buying. And I go, man, it... he made some really good points. And I just figured, you know, now would be a good time for me to stop making videos. I enjoyed it. And uh, I thought it was really cool. And maybe one day I'll come back, you know. Nah, I'm just kidding. No, but he did make a good video. And he did make some good points. And, uh... It is something to be aware of. I mean, I make videos because I'm just having fun. I like talking about records and music. And, uh... Most of my friends... That have the same interest in, as me in music... I don't really see them that often... So, this is an outlet. Um, the VC is also a great source of uh, exploring new music for me. And, I mean, a lot of what I buy, I mean, the punk rock stuff, has really, some of it I've seen people show and I'll buy it. But most of it, it's, I'm buying that all on my own. But some of the psych stuff that I'm not really aware of, I'm exploring a lot of that kind of stuff because of the VC. But anyways, on to the, what this video is about. Um, Norman Maslov. I think he refers to himself as Mazzy. He recently made a video. And I, I, I think it's a contest. Show three albums of a photographer, album art by one photographer. And I thought, you know what? One photographer came to my mind immediately, but I'm not going to limit it to three. Um, if I'm entered in the contest or not, it doesn't really matter. Um, but I did want to respond, and I'm going to leave a link to his video and uh, check him out. Apparently, he I've only become aware of him in the last week or so apparently he made some videos a year eight months ago but in the last two weeks or two weeks and a half he's made 18 videos now i've seen this time and time again people jump into the vc and they're all excited and they're making all these videos and then they get burned out and you never hear from them again i hope this is not the case with this guy you know if you know, slow down, bro. Slow down, you know. I've decided I'm going to try to make one a week. And I try to make it either on a Friday or a Saturday. And that's... I'm, I'm trying to uh, do that. Um, last week was a vinyl finds. I don't have enough vinyl finds purchases to make another video. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to showcase a photographer... Edward Clover, Ed Clover, he documented the punk rock scene in L.A. I mean, he 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 was there. I see, I saw him at shows, and uh, great photographer. He's he he uh, photographed a lot of live stuff, but he he did make quite a few uh, iconic album covers. And he made some album covers. Let me see. I, I wrote a list here for R.E.M., Red Hot Chili Peppers, The Monkees, Striper, Aerosmith, Ice Cube, The Alarm, Linkin Park, Berlin, and White something. I, I can't remember which one that one was. I don't own any of those. Of course. But I do have some iconic... Ed Clover 
album covers. And the first one I'm going to show is the Super Heroine's first album. Fantastic album cover. Almost on par with Meet the Beatles or With the Beatles. I think it's a great, great shot in the back. And I've said before, Sandra Ross saw them at Al's Bar. Man, she had so much charisma. But yeah, great album cover. Another one of his iconic album covers is the TSOL first EP. It's a live shot of them in concert. But it's just, it's a really cool, cool shot. A really good album cover is the 45 Grave. And I hope these are not too glary. I, I, I hope I don't have to do this again. Yeah, this is another shot. This is the 45 Graves' first album, Sleep in Safety. He also did the album cover of Autopsy, their comp album. And this is the 12 inch of uh, Schools Out, done at the same sessions as this one. Now, he also did a very iconic album cover. If you watched my 100 best punk albums, I had this one placed at number one. And uh, Ed Clover is the one that did the photograph on Black Flags Damaged. I don't think it's necessarily a great album cover. I mean, I like it. It's very dark. And th there's a... A later 80s version of it which is I think it's almost in black and white and they even drew his eyes in you know they 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 lightened it up so much so you could see his face and I guess they with a pencil they had to draw kind of like his his eyes and his nose you know because I guess it was so washed out now another early LA punk band he did their uh, first two album covers. The first one I think is pretty cool. It's, it's just a crowd shot, so it's not a great photograph. But it's a pretty cool, the way they colored it. And he also did their second one, which I think is a, a better photograph. But it, it's, it's nothing really great. It's uh, Circle Jerks up in San Francisco, I believe, when they were doing a gig up there. And a bunch of the, the, the Circle Jerks are all in black and white and... I don't know if these are all L.A. fans that went up there um, with the Circle Jerks. They played a gig up there. That That is what happened probably in the late 70s. Black Flag would go up there and they would, you know, a couple of bands full of kids would go with them. And the punk rock fans in L.A. were a little rambunctious. They're the ones that started the slam dancing, the stage diving, and they, they would go up to San Francisco, and they were still doing, you know, this stuff, and man, these kids were bouncing off the walls, and it was kind of a shock, and uh, Black Flag, they, they just spread the hardcore thing through the U.S. hardcore, but anyways, god damn, I got off track, didn't I? Another great album cover is Flame Job. By the Cramps. A really cool photograph is uh, Joanna Went Hyena. He did uh, this very cool, and he did all the back shots too. This one here is a cool shot. It's not necessarily a great album cover, but it's uh, Rick Agnew's uh, debut solo album, All By Myself. He plays all the instruments on it. Pretty good album. He was the original guitar player in Christian Death and also Adolescence. Another Ed Clover photograph is on this later Germs album, Rock and Roll. It's a 1979, yeah, Live at the Mask reunion. Is it a reunion? Yeah, Christmas, 1979. Uh, this came out after Darby committed suicide. And this is the debut album 
by uh, the germs. And I left this one in the, the my uh, protective cover here. He did all the, the back photographs of this. Um, I've seen a lot of videos of people, when they store their records, they store the vinyl outside in the back of the cover. And they say they do this to prevent ring wear. Now, I bought this album when it came out in 1978, 79. It's a black album. There is ring wear on the plastic cover here. I mean, that's the purpose of these. These will get the ring wear. The record doesn't. If you have one of these, you are not going to get ring wear. You can keep the record inside. In fact, I think if you keep the record outside, the record is actually going to wear here, and you're going to get ring. You are going to get ring wear by placing the record outside of the jacket. Now, I I keep all my records inside, unless the cover is really fragile, then I will keep it out. But uh, I'm speaking from 50 years of experience. If you keep your records in these. Keep the record inside. Another album. L.A.'s Waste. Now all these ones are going to be. They're not. He didn't do the album covers. But he did the back photos. L.A.'s Wasted Youth. And the iconic uh, stage dive photo. Of some kid with a Wasted Youth patch on his pants. Fantastic photo this is. I hope that's coming out. Social Distortion's first album. He did the photo, the back, uh, the back photo. The Angry Samoans first album. The back photo was Ed Clover. And finally, Jody Foster's Army, his first album. He did the back photos of this. Ed Clover, great. He he was a. He documented the punk rock scene in L.A. And uh, just a great... Uh, he has a book that was published. I think it was from an art show, but it's long out of print. I wish I would have got one. But anyways, check out uh, Mazzy. Or as he's... Uh, his name... His channel name is Norman Maslov. I'm going to leave a link. And uh, check them out, subscribe, and uh, cheers, everybody. Oh, that, uh, that video sucked, didn't it? I might have to reshoot this motherfucker. Take care, everybody.